was pending in 2011 on the 25th of December, Srimati Radha Raj. Will introduce Professor Vaidinath. Pranam, Mangi
match support our India army. Yes. And if you look at it, every single chapter has to mark these chapters because every time I was reading them, I'm looking at it and saying, oh my god, this is the reason why we set up Money Life Foundation. Okay? So you look at when I saw state of contract enforcement, whether it is why women are buying gold, whether it is the role of non-banking finance companies, where you, you had the concept of chip funds, which Professor Vaitanathan has talked about, which has a positive side, which has been completely perverted into what you have as these Ponzi's and MLMs, which are raising tens of thousands of crores. I mean, people talk, associate me with discovering scams. I don't think those scams are a drop in the ocean as compared to what we have seen in the last 10 years, whether it's QNET, whether it's PK Asia, whether it's Sahara. Okay? And I mean, somebody remind me who is defending Sahara in the Supreme Court in the last few days? So, you got my point. When I say that I am not sure about change, I feel that one of the biggest parties, somebody who does not report a damn thing. I mean, Professor Vaidyanathan talks about different kinds of taxes. You know, all of you are Twitter. We did a little interview with a woman who has a, a, a tax online florist. Okay? And she's been writing about India, earning all the time, reacting like I did and saying, Gosh, every chapter here makes such eminent sense. And one of the first things she says is when she moves away from being an aerosist to starting her own business, what does she encounter in the first three years of her being an entrepreneur? The income tax department. Okay? The harassment by the tax department. And we carried a cover story calling it tax torsion. It is absolutely amazing that in India, we have been turned into slaves of the income tax department, unpaid, because we small entrepreneurs, I'm a small entrepreneur today, and I can see the pain that we all feel in every chapter and every word over here, because we go through it. So the government has decided there will be draconian punishments if you don't uh, deduct your tax at source on the dot. Okay? We don't find accountants. We went through six weeks of utter panic because TDS had to be paid. My husband is a chartered accountant. He says, doesn't matter because I don't know the online systems today. It's not that because I'm a CA, I'll be able to sit in front of the computer and make the tax payment. So we went to blue terror for six weeks saying, where do we find an accountant? Because the last one has just walked out without giving us a single day's notice. And this is what the government has done to us. I mean, we are supposed to be entrepreneurs. We want to earn. We are creating an employment. And the system today says, again, you know, Professor Vaitanathan has uh, numbers over here to say how much of our money is going into creating a pension scheme for government employees. But that money comes from us. They don't care how. They don't care whether you have to shut down your business. They don't care what you do. They will extort and expropriate your savings. Okay? And at the end of the day, we don't have a social security system, that's again there. You don't have anything about contract enforcement, that is part of this book. So far, so good. So we have a book, which should be our Bible, which has everything with facts, results and numbers put down here. What next? Is it going to change because you're going to get a new government, hopefully, in some time? Not at all. And I think I was discussing with Professor Vedanathan earlier, that the difference, the reason why for almost 65 years you have Congress ruling is that every time they have to wait for an interregnum of two years or five years where they accommodated all their people in great posts, they created organizations that take the research forward. I tweeted last week about an organization that takes smorchas every day to ten Chalpa, Toto, wherever Rahul Gandhi says to ask for a number of bills. And it is my view as a journalist over 25 years that a lot of legislation happens because a small group of people who are very powerful, who are doing nothing, they are fully funded and they can systematically follow it through. They are sitting there and putting enormous pressure to make things happen. So I am a firm believer that we may feel very proud of what we are doing on Twitter. We can say we are storifying things which has a great utility. But if we don't take that forward in terms of action on the ground, it can't be just talk about PIS, it has to be systematic, it has 
research based action on the ground to institutions. And if you don't take it forward, it's going to be hollow. It's going to be, even if you have a change, it's going to be another intellectual. Whether it is two years of Janta, whether it is five years of BJP in the past, it's going to be the small time in which we're going to come back. I do not see institutions being built. I do not see anything other than outrage on Twitter. I don't see it translating into action on the ground. Even here, I've met four people in the morning who will tell me what I should do. I run a very, very, very tiny organization with no funding. I mean, you know, it's no joke that funding doesn't come to people like us because we are independent. We say what we think. I'm saying what I think even today. So until you focus on institutions that will ensure change, that will translate this book into action, no change is going to happen. And I wish that this conference spends a little time thinking about how we can make that transition. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Suchita ji. As you all know, Money Life Foundation, which, which she has been associated, has been doing a big service to the society by periodically having debates, seminars, and other updates uh, for enlightening the common man on their rights and their financial, and exposing many of the financial scams. I would, from this platform, urge you to be associated with Mindy Life Foundation. It's a great organization by which they are educating the masses and people like y'all to be vigilant and safeguard against many of the fraud which have been taking place in the financial world. Money Life Foundation, you can get the website and get more information on the activities. And please attend their seminars which are always Household, you have to do prior registration, and but I feel that urge all PGs to be associated with this type of an organization. Now it's the turn of Professor Vaidyanathan to enlighten us on the book and the way forward. And uh, we request him to do full justice to Sujita Ji for she cut short the speech, but I think uh, both between both of them. Uh, Professor Vaidyanathan will take over and do full justice and inform our hungry PTs to uh, understand from him what's happening in the financial world and uh, India at large. Thank you.
20 years, look, madam, what happens if we are teachers? In our monastery, it will never recover. That's not our. The 80 quarters, that means it is never going to. Even if one of my students gets minus 5 out of 100, let's say, I won't say it's useless. I will only say that, so for improvement. <laughs> We also feel, you know, a little better. So far, but <laughs> nowadays, what else? We can't do it. Because you are not ready, you are useless or something. You may take me to cruel drink and attack. He is very clear that I am not. And one fellow, one boy was not writing exam or giving projects in that. I, I know him. So I told him, why are you becoming lazy? He told, sir, don't use the word lazy. That word is not to be used. What I have you have to tell that I am differently motivated. I can't tell a person less. So any word you want to use, you have to be very careful. For everything, for instance, I am, I am also particularly challenging. Because my name is not to be, you know that. Be by the not. So I am also particularly challenging. Until at independent day in school, I never used to get that stupid chocolate. All Arabic, Arabic, everybody will. But today, even daily I was standing, poor fellow. He also never got. So, he said, sir, you can't tell a person. So, even if he gets minus five, I have to tell you all, so far. He also feels bad. So, finally, I told this business uh, uh, television that it is never. 1820, till 1820, India and China had 50% of the global GDP. And for 200 years, cycle was 2020 onward. And the forecast, I am a forecast here, another 20, 24, or 23 times, the G7 will only have 23 to 24% of the global GDP. And that is the crux of the crisis. And they are not going to leave the government very easily. Nobody would do that. You are sitting in high trouble, you are not going to get up and start to come and go. So that understanding we have to develop is how to develop globally alternate institutions. You have to develop alternate events, alternate world banks, alternate time So many type of new institutions you have to create. And for that we have to have that total new understanding of government. That the current policy may be to go and tell alternate world banks, they will go to the world banks. Sir, how to create alternate world <laughs> And they will to provide some, uh, some project money and And these fellows will spend some money here and there. And say alternate to world bank, world bank is highly confused. Because our umbilical cards are phenomenally tied with the significantly with the rest. So we are not even wanting to recognize that there is a decline that is taking place. In that context, we have to look at our specific techniques and other angular. We have a lot of uh, things which are totally different than the type of world which we are looking at. And we have to decide whether would we like to create something on the same model or something our own initiative. Right? This is what is that. And what gave me motivation for this study was quite a number of years before I was, you know, I have a a lady who comes to at my home, every day morning she comes around 7 o'clock in a two-wheeler. So, TV has to be, half a truckload of vegetables she brings. Like in this road, a lot of people do. And she has a semi-permanent shop and night up to 7 she sits there. Day after day, this is the day for the year. They always used to be wondering what type of her. And she knows that after my, she knows the, she sometimes says to tell, you know, that I will use different characters, this is not speaking. I wondered where does she come in our statistical system. I try to understand, she is not a listed company, she is not even a company, she is not a partnership. So I spoke and uh, the Long Term India publication called uh, Central Statistical Organization publishes on Indian statistical system, sources and methods. It's a bulk volume. So I being a slightly manifestation, you know, self-inflicted pain, I began to read that. <laughs> to read any government document, you would understand what I am. Lord. And I realized that he categorized that somehow. 
by your student, he is much better organized than many multinational companies. And unorganized gives a feeling of disorder, which it is not true. And so I thought, what is this? Why are they called anonymous? And then further five, six pages I read. In the seventh page, there is another category called organic. The government is classified as organic. Can you believe this? <laughs> government of India, Maharashtra government, Karnataka government, and municipal corporation, local bodies, they are all called organic. Well, that lady is called And there is a Rasmana Metro, that is also anonymous. So oh, this was really something very, very fascinating. I, then I thought I should do some more homework analysis. Then I found out there are a lot of terminological issues. You can buy the book and have a look at it. Unorganized, informal. And that because Americans call it residual in their country, because all these constitute less than 5-6% in their country of GDP, we also call it residual. And the non-corporate, that's the way we look at it, and they constitute something like nearly 45 to 50 percent of our people. Something which is 45 to 50 percent, India alone can call it as residual. How can it be residual? And the corporate, if you take, the best of estimates cannot give them more than 80 percent, maybe 50 percent in that range. And digital corporate share of GDP will be hardly. So if you look at the US contract, the corporate constitutes 75% of the GDP. It's a corporatized world actually. Here it is completely uh, different. So that is the way in which uh, I was, then I thought, point of time, go into further investigation. I found out something very interesting. We are one of the highest uh, saving nations. We save something like 32%, 33%. Some years 35. In the 60s, we used to say something like 6%, 5%. Everybody used to you know, shout at us, why are you not saving enough for Our friend the Kusnets, I think uh, Dr. Swami, believe that. So, he said, So, he wrote an article on a vicious cycle of poverty. India has an example. See, India should be an example. Then you get normal price and you get normal interest. <laughs> Global abuse, India should be taken up as an example. That is very important. Like, you know, two fellows who came on this, uh, uh, I was told, uh, one of the international journals to uh, cover India. So one fellow is telling the other fellow, did you look, you know, these people are coming out of Alba. Did you look at the seventh beggar? You have to take the photograph of that. Beggars are all in a city there. Seventh one is the most preferred one for global journals. Because he has got, you know, informality. Don't take 60, 60 sorry, that's bigger. <laughs> that is also fixture. Which you better to be? Similarly, the emaciated child, the five child, no, that child only you should. So, this is the Kusnet's role. It has a poor country, poor income. Obviously, poor income means poor saving. Poor saving means investment is lower. Investment is lower, income will be. So, it's called vicious regular of poverty. So it used to be part of our paper in those days. We used to have three papers. That like itself is a fascinating thing. How much we have distorted ourselves. One paper was called American Economic System. Another paper was called European Economic Thought. Third paper was Indian Economic Problems. <laughs> this was in the 70s. Mindset has been regard to choose one of them. American Economic Thought. European economic system or Indian economic problem. So Kustad told there is no hope for this. She has taken off. The only way is to pump some money from outside in the form of pain. <coughs> that used to be the 60s. Now if we came to 1990, we are saving like 30 percent. Now everybody is telling, why are you saving? So much. Too much saving. And you have to spend. You should know how to. You know that US mechanism of monitoring your uh, economic well being is to find out how much is the spending. Retail sales is one of the major indicators here. Every week, every fortnight, we publish. The retail sales goes up, people are living well. 
retail sales come down, the clean economy. So spend. Recently there was a conference called How to Make Indian Women Spend. Can you believe that? <laughs> they find that these ladies are all doing all these masters, but they don't spend. They just go around and have their and uh, you know, <laughs> they meet people, you know, kick cats and come back. So footfall is what they call in the jargon. Footfall is that. But invoice is how to make people spend. So rightly or wrongly, I was invited to that. So you can't make them spend. Because saving is essentially due to four major characteristics. First and foremost, most of them, including Indian experts there, did not know. Only 15% of Indians are in government. Working. Working is a very strong word. I will not know that. <laughs> Employed in government. Or, because somebody is like Jackie Shetty may question me. Why are you? Using that word. So, employed in government or what is called large corporate in India. Pandra Pandra. 85% are on their own. Either as agriculture laborer or as self employed or as contract laborers. 85% of the Indians are on their Either they are contract operator or Kirana Kapilos or what are called mixed income. They are both entrepreneur as well as labor. They cover. Madam is also part of that mixed in from group. Her own, she is what you call from bottle water to head to head. All the things one has to do. So profit as well as income. Otherwise, exclusively you are getting in terms of a proper printer, carpenter, all things for These 85% do not get any benefit of a social service. Somebody asked me, what is social security? That how do you manage the social security crisis? I told my audience in the US there is no social security crisis in India. They are talking of you. We don't have a social security crisis at all. Yes, because we don't have social security. When we have a crisis, we have that for day. Right? It's not that problem. It's only for people who have got people like you and me. See, if you have low level of income, you have income tax. So very high level of income, you don't have income tax problem. You have capital accountant problem. That is only income tax. <laughs> that's a, right? So I told there is no such thing. So when you reach 60, if you are in Norway, if you are in Germany, or if you are in US, you will start getting a check from the office. So then check based upon your poll tax or fund tax, non-fund tax, so many categories are that. But here, what is getting? Nothing is. So if you are at Kerala job below at 30, you get a TP problem. You have to spend from your own pocket. Right? So, old age, security, health, both the things you have to see. And in the context of declining joint family, this becomes much, much more critical. Compared to we had a joint family now, so they all went in US to nuclear So, we also went to nuclear Now, they have gone to proton family, civil family family. Only one, uh, what are the mother, only mother family contact. <coughs> so this is the decline, and so we have to say. And the third thing, old age, health, third is education. I think all of you, particularly the youngsters, actually, educating the LKG, UKG is more expensive than putting him into some government engineering college at the right. At that level, you are, uh, so there you have to spend a lot of money. The other day when one of our neighbors was telling she has to give some 1.5 lakh cash to get her sibling uh, into the child into pre-K. When I went to school it was only second and third we started actually. There was no idea we went past class. So there was no better time near the wall and the height will be deciding where we should go. <laughs> I tell you, I just tipped on my toe and slightly, you know. <laughs> and I can assure you, sir, that method is no worse than all the psychometric tests and all assessment today done to the LKG. That method is no bad. Today, parents have to mug up my ass, why? Because they have to also write on us. 
parents have to undergo test she passed and then school fee she was telling me can be anywhere between 150 and 200 per month to kids so lower level education is becoming very expensive we always used to talk about tech plus two plus three nobody talks about that that four this side four that there is a so four plus ten plus two plus three and that is very expensive even all over asia women are obsessed about educating their children the best school and best is unfortunately equated to their price so they have to spend a lot of money every woman wants her children to be in the best school and they they are much more obsessed than men they do not even know all the time i ask them to be in the next or next class or in six father told them that boy told i am in eighth or boy told me Please go over to the bar, come back later. The lady of the house, a lot of studies are demonstrated. One of the major reasons is every woman wants her children to be better than her husband. Because this fellow cannot be rectified. I think that it's like I'm going to start to talk about the negative. Go for that or sometimes you might observe that you need to see. It is tell actually the child. ಬಿಡಿ <laughs> <laughs> so they have to save for education there is no other way and for the samsar marriage and death and whether you like it or not in india everybody spends a lot of money on the other it is it is death i find my brother or brother they rush but i tell them why do you want to so sir in my community in my place i have to spend a lot of money. spend a lot of money and the lower the class proportion spent is more The richer fellows, you know, you may send an SMS, sorry, I already don't like it, you know, that's all. That SMS will go to his number which is not even used, you know, that's my job. But not these people. So these are the four reasons. If you add up all the four, it comes to easily 30% of your disposable. So the saving has to be there and it is not going to change. And kindly note, the domestic saving pushes our growth. We talk every day morning, we start talking about FIA and FDA. That's very important. Everybody talks, all the business channels, speak papers, everywhere. FIA is coming in, FIA is not coming in. Sir, don't sneeze in a meeting. Because if you sneeze, FIA will not come. How many told sir, you have to put up four times of the time. Then only FIA will come. Because in India, you should know one thing. You should have a time to tell a lie. ಅಪ್ರಿಷಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಪ್ರಿಷಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಪ್ರಿಷಿಯೇಟಿ
2009 there was a report by Goldman that uh, those days he required some 9 trillion for our infrastructure and other things. Finally they told India can generate domestic savings to meet their work. And today is the situation where funds are in such a market. Markets need not be in such a funds. Global funds are desperately looking for good market. Everywhere there is a chaos and tension. So there is a huge role played by these uh, non, non corporate are all classified as households in the saving data in India. So huge role played by them. So we have an advantage domestic saving driven and domestic demand driven. My colleague uh, at uh, Shanghai University, we had a joint project. She always used to tell me, Professor, one uh, interesting thing in your uh, thing I will say. In India, things are made for India. In China, things are made in China. There's a lot of difference. Because in many sectors, 40% of the Chinese output is set abroad. So our demand is domestic driven. Our saving is also domestic driven. So to that extent, we have a phenomenal amount of strength because of all these smaller entities. And smaller doesn't automatically mean their top line is very smaller. That is another important thing I want to stress. Some of the partnership preparations should come at the number of 2003 comes in groups. Like your Matchbox writer, Tracker writer, there is one here. There are two brothers near uh, my town, Namanda. They are uh, started making cake. They have about 2000 plus crore annual uh, partnership. So automatically, you don't think small means, you know, like uh, candle baking or your, uh, you know, papa or something. That is also there. There are large number of major supply flows are also part of this uh, uh, grouping. And one area where they dominate is service sector. So whenever I mention service sector, everybody thinks of, uh, I'm sure, uh, Narayan Guru, right? That is the immediate thing. But uh, IT, IT, ES, all of that put together may not be my service person. Service sector primarily is construction, your uh, road transport, both uh, passenger as well as goods transport. And 22 million track, half of it is in India is so one, one track more. Still in track. Your restaurant, like your Urdhi and all these uh, fast food, the past Irani. And uh, in terms of your Sambar, uh, Pitta, Carpet, Tax, Street, and retail trade, one of the large segments of the society. If you look at service sector, that is growing something like 9%, 8 and half, 9%. Real growth rate. And within that, restaurant is the fastest growing industry in the last 10 years. What is the segment with the fastest growing restaurant? That is growing around 9%. And all of these, the restaurant is not easy to attend. They are talking about roadside, smaller, medium, very, very easy including your platform type of thing. Now all these groupings, they are growing very fast. Their share is very large. Service sector is carrying something like two-thirds of the economy. And what is their issue? Their issue is very simple there. Two major problems in this case. One is corruption. Corruption at the low level. Lower level we are talking about. Because when we talk about reform, we only talk about capital market, derivative product, licensing, all that we talk about. But we don't, none of the reforms have taken touch the state or principle. Drops and establishment act, I do not know how many of you have heard about it already. I would request all of you to buy a copy in Marathi or in Hindi or in Hindi. Book. Something called Drops and Establishment Act. Of the state of Food and Administration Act of the Guzman Party. Quiet thing, actually. If you go by Shops and Establishment Act, at least in my state, every shop should be closed. Every shop should be closed. By the uh, housing minister once announced, you ask for housing rules, you have to follow all houses in uh, Greater Bangalore to be. 
So short sale establishment, I would say, sunshine should be there. You should sit, I have never seen a small shop where you can sit, I stand this side, there is a nana between me and the shopkeeper. I give you money and take the bread. There is no sit. Rats should not be there. Can you believe this? Shops with no rats. Oh, what is the reticent of it? Very simple. Hello, will come and collect every week from Bhakta. Food and Administration Act. Again, in your uh, nearby there are Darshini, fast food restaurant and others. The price should not be there. It should not be there. Okay, I am a vegetarian. I don't want to. Uh, price is fine. Food. That's all. When I comply to one or two dollar, he told uh, you should be thankful. That is what non wish for us. So then I told you see my grandfather told me long time before, never eat a fry and become a non-vegetarian. You want to become a non-vegetarian, eat a huge pickle or some, you know, buffalo or never eat a fry and become like, you know, never take 10,000 rupees and get caught. After 23 years, you will be put in jail for money. <laughs> like never borrow money for 30 lakhs from a bank. Every month you have to be worried about EMI. What to create a drone that a banker will worry about? We will ask my wife, obviously, for that opportunity. But he said, who is worried that Malia is worried or banker is worried? Isn't it? So, put an administration as, I was put into some group committee or I asked, has anybody died in the recent period by eating in any of these restaurants? No sir, nobody has died, but stomach, stomach ache is very common, you can start eating there also you can get. And for that, there is no pastor, Delia, the inspector, every week, every one of these uh, restaurants is fine, that's what I'm saying. And the largest businesses are ability to manage it. They have a huge department of, you know, lawyers, company secretary, started about that. Nowadays, what is called managing government that has become a major. In many management schools, it's a force actually. How to manage government? Managing business was supposed to be our area originally. That is gone now. Managing how to manage government. Other day, I got down at Delhi airport and somebody asked, Where is the lobby, sir? I told the whole Delhi is the lobby. Where is the lobby? <laughs>
So one issue is corruption at the government. For whom? Most of the growing, largest share of our economy. The second issue is credit availability for them. Is it difficult for them to get appropriate time? And the rates they talk about are 3%, 4% per month. 3% per month. You can walk around this road. All these uh, uh, small retail fellows, uh, very old vendor and other things, they would have all borrowed at 4% per month. If they are really good. Then they will be able to get a good job. They will be able to get a good job. They will be able to get a good job. They will be able to get a good job. They will be able to get a good job. They will be able to get a good job. That is on one side. On this side. We have estimated that, for instance, in retail trade, approximately 70% of the requirement is met by non-bank companies. There is only an amount of demand is there from the non-bank companies. So we have a huge sort of a segment this side. It is very important. So there are two major things. One is corruption, one is the credit Even if rates are higher, higher than that, if they are already paying 5% that is 60% per annum, somebody could offer them at 3%, they are very happy to do that. But that is not being looked at, that is not being taken care of. So there is a huge mass of people who are not feeling, who are nominally entrepreneurial in this country, unfortunately who are wearing the brunt of their system. And the what in the target it is called, they bring food to the table after a day of all. And this is the group which is not being talked about or looked at. Either we look at on the one side top notch of the global funds and uh, other major businesses, or immediately we begin to talk about the master drivers on this side. This question is very much the friction of money. And this is not uh, something like, you know, uh, what is the what is the primary requirement if you ask me? They would like government to get away from that. They don't want even government help. They are not set up to talk with government help. They just want government to leave them in peace. Government will all their needs. And the level of understanding is unbelievable. There is no point in talking about that. The local fellow in Lokaita, they write at an archive office in Pakistan. Just a couple of years before he was a good friend of mine, later on he was talking about it. In that archive office they write at it. And of course, the cat was there and somebody threw it through the window and everything and wrote it to cut it. Something like he has to stand and throw it through the windows on it. Time will be not to get three, how much they ought to be. But more importantly, he found three fellows who have not taken one day off in the last three years of their service. Three, you know, can't believe that. Because in Karnataka, we say, it's written everywhere in old letter. Government tells us, they will tell us. That is, government was the God for us. Believe that person. And he was shocked that he knew that the local and one of his assistants wrote, sir, that is not the issue, that is not. Every day that is true, it will take place daily. If you don't come that day, you don't get it. One fellow carried the wheelchair with all the, you know, that liquid and other things attached to his thing. To the evening because he has to take it. It's a huge amount of money. And where does this money flow? Much of the money comes to the credit market. Even 4 percent, 3 percent, they get credit using this credit. Because they cannot keep this money. So when you generate so much, who is that? One of the largest generators in the market is the box. Nowadays, box even don't take it in hand and say, these are all these so-called string cooperation and other things are all there. So there is a turning that they have put a huge, you know, that a newspaper, you know, a paper, a paper, a paper, a paper, and everybody throws it in the paper. And then, so one day I was asking somebody, you know, how many, how many will pick it up in China? Because so many are watching, so many comes out. 
and the you know, sort of middle of the day, they come on, collect the top of it and every town, every place has got their own initiative. And by and large, unity in diversity is there in India in this attitude. Because like, what I am the rate for, Kohima also the rate, message spreads like anything. To that extent, there is a significant amount of solid energy. So these have strategies, what do they want from government? They don't want anything from government. But we were the with all the talk about inclusive health and energy, the look at actual strategies which we have provided. This needs to get 52% of the bank loans from scheduled commercial banks, all type of banks, which has come down to 34. If you get any segment, up to 50 lakhs, up to 1 crore, all of them are subsidized. Actually, bank financing is not adequately. And they have to depend on non bank sources with all the, you know, what one can call uh, associated problems. So, we have to deal with our problems in our own fashion. One or two things can immediately be done because of our strength. The retail network can be linked together using technology hardware. All our retail fellows, we don't have to wait for our Walmart and retail fellows can be linked through technology. And they can have the power of the purchasing ability. They have the combined purchasing power. They can obviously, you know, beat down the prices and the digital data. So the marriage of technology and our mix of non-corporate or unincorporate can facilitate India to be a different topic. That is what I normally say, you know, there is a big debate about should we allow these fellows or should we allow Walmart to be. From one hand, Walmart gets money at two point of time. Whether well, the local fellows, even your big uh, business fellows can get it at uh, 11 or 12 So there is no comparison. Somebody will get that 100 by Kirana fellow gets that 3% per month, becomes 36%. There is a so called level playing field. But sometimes I see, even if they come, nothing is going to, they will not be able to succeed. Recently, to go back to the 50s and 60s, go back to the 50s and 60s, the growth of Walmart was primarily because of huge number of households, independent houses were there in US. US was not a, what you may call a, a apartment type of an economy in those days. It was primarily a independent house. So every independent house, if you go visit them and you go to their basement, what they call, below the garage, there will be a retail shop. 50 days of Coca-Cola, 40 days of, uh, you know, uh, what do you call, shampoo. Because in those days, even today, if you, you buy, you know, 10 liters of shampoo, you will get 120 free. So everybody goes and buy 10 liters of shampoo and keep it in there. So what is this big retail revolution Walmart has done is shifted the Kerala shops into your home. That's all. Your home becomes a Kerala shop. That's called retail. If you keep it in your home, it's called consumption in economics. If it is in the Kerala shop, it is called unsold economy. That is what we have succeeded. But in India, unfortunately or fortunately, whichever way you look at it, we are not having independent down places. We have got what are called apartments. Every town. Apartment is basically living apart. The urban and wife are living apart. That's why it's called apartment. Because he doesn't know when he comes back from home, he doesn't know when he goes to so this apartment space is a huge problem. My grandma used to buy 100 kg of rice and tea. Today we can't even imagine what to do. Because the other day in Bangalore, one fellow told us that opened up. No, I thought he is opening a cupboard. That is another bedroom. To open. That is the problem of space. So where do we have the ability to shift? So 5 liter, 10 liter, we have all completely changed in terms of our consumption pattern. We talk in terms of sachets by, you know, 
My grandma used to buy 100 kg, wife used to buy something like monthly requirement. My daughters, no. Morning you will buy some avocado and at least tomorrow we may eat out. That's how it's going on. I told you that is the path of the growing. So, this shifting of Kerala into home is not going to be. Second is the mobile evolution was not there with the these uh, permanent models are developed in the Today, at 9 p.m. I think, uh, one bread piece my guru brings home and delivers one cycle, he will come and give it to me. That cannot be done by this uh, global model. You will not be able to deliver me one bread piece, you know? So the whole, everybody has got mobile, servant my mind, Mr. Bella has got mobile, my vegetable doctor has got mobile, all of them are big. And I have a very interesting habit of taking away the mobile in the bathroom situation that we are on. We drink and take 21 pieces of And I distribute it to all these fellows. Oh, my mother would have done. We have got a Samsung Galaxy Y. <laughs> that was an executive product. So executive products are more better than the regular. So, but he receives only calls. He never makes any calls. So that has completely altered the structure of relationships, the old mobile relationships. Because they are able to reach out. So I can reach out my Kerala He can immediately get my order, which is not possible in the last moment. So from online, they can come, they are not going to. Of course, Indian uh, large uh, businesses are enthusiastic because they want to un unload it. They are not thinking about of uh, tax problems. And in India, between you and me, the so-called uh, multi-brand retail and all the fellows who talk about real estate. The important thing is in India, any business institute closely analyzes real estate finance. That fellow has got some land, so immediately you will talk about health care facilities for people, education for people, millions to be educated there, why? I have got some 70 years. All our real estate parents who do not understand any business. But they want to go into. So, same way these fellows have built malls and other things, they think they can unload it. That's all. There is no other major type of Land is the only thing in which they flourish actually in our country. So, this is the this whole debate about multi plant, retail, and other things. To some extent, you know, because that model is not going to. Significantly work in large parts of the country. There is enthusiasm initially, it's always nice to feel about it. But the small fellows, what they want to do, you give us less preparation. You may be surprised what of my research students have analyzed. Even today, to set up a petty shop, as per all regulations, you require 42 clearances. Believe me. If you want to be a god abiding, and uh, law by the very important. Because the bedrock section exhibit works of brigade in India. I can assure you on that. The bedrock sections are the ones who exhibit works of brigade. A lot of non-performing loans come from students from senior institutions in education. But if you go to the flower you know, vendor or Srivala, they all return that. Somebody, some bank being uh, corporate from the other side, they are wrong shape. They are not doing much law. But people like us who are better off, they are neither God fearing nor law fearing. We have transcended that we are simple and we don't believe in God. And law, what is this law that we are above? That the red light, uh, that the is talked immediately, the fellow came down and asked, You know who is mine? Rabba. I always used to wonder, why did he ask that policeman? If he is down, he should ask his mother. <laughs> and in Delhi, it is more common, I can assure you about it. I realized one thing in Delhi, lots of people are down about this matter. <laughs> I've got the city in the country. You know who is mine? Because he doesn't believe in following the And we can't do it in a 1.2 billion country actually. More and more regulations to bring in nothing around. I would rather say scrap all more problems. 
I want it. He gets to live in our apartment now. He has an impact at one dollar a cup. He's supposed to check for that is appropriate and a service. And basically outside it, then he will give it a cup of tea and then he will make that cup. Money and money. Why is it? They are saying you follow the if not. Two things are very critical. I am sure Dr. Swami will agree with me. They are strict and a serious punishment of this is the cup. The strict and severe, both timeliness and severity. No booking for red light. You cross the red light, you are caught. A severe punishment. Phenomenally high level of punishment. You ask me. Income tax only one page. You fill up. You are old teacher. But if you are caught, the strict and severe. So that worry about strict and severe punishment. I am sure that a large number of people would like to follow, not uh, deviate or And that's the only way we can handle the uh, situation in our country. And that's what the large number of uh, partnership properties is for the problem. They do not want to use battalion. They cannot employ up to large number of uh, these uh, people. Right. A country, very fact, a society where a lot of the experience are here, I am also one. A society where chartered accountants and lawyers are is a PK society. It will be a society where CAs and lawyers are in a PK And now, unfortunately, to the least, doctors is also added in our country. Because, like, you know, they immediately say that they have a surgery. They have a year of surgery in Bangalore, you know, they cut bread. Like that, these fellows want to. I asked, why are you suggesting for everything I can't do, no, sir? What last we need has come from the And we are target oriented. Every day evening the doctor told, I can't believe it actually. They have a meeting where it is told how much you have generated for our EPS today. Because you are supposed to give tests and other things which are not required. So one more you have to add, society where chartered accountants, lawyers and doctors are working. Is that EPS? Society where teachers are issued. Yeah? And, and of course, we can add investigative journalists. No, we have to. So, we have to really look at the issues faced by the entrepreneurial group. They are not parasites. They are not depending upon the government. Uh, what you call capital, they don't want anything from government. What they are telling is just get off. Just don't ask. Nothing more or nothing less. Appropriate credit for the reduction of corruption, reduction, and credit creation. These are the two things that are critical for them. And that is what I think we must focus. And uh, this is the group which we should engage. We should be proud of it. No reason for us to be not productive. And uh, they are all, you know, very sincere and extremely hardworking. There are 840 centers all over the country called clusters. Some of you have heard about it. I visited at least 90 to 100 of them. Everywhere I find small group of people, sometimes community based, sometimes caste based, phenomenal amount of enterprise. Whether it is Turpur, whether it is Jalanda, whether it is Morbi. And they are all proud people, and many of them are interestingly less than first class. The biggest entrepreneurs in the country are less than first class, like an assurance. Because if you cross that, you become an employee to go for you know, what you call uh, interviews and become a good employee. So, big entrepreneurs, they are all very, very simple. The only thing is they don't care at time. That's only. They are all smoky, smoky clad as a pond They don't even smoke cigarettes. They do not know. So this is the... And many of them do not know English. That is another major you know, drawback for them, perhaps. And this is the group I think we must produce next. We must celebrate our opportunity. This should be the message for 2014. Celebrating opportunity. Not necessarily at the high end of the spectrum, but at the how to facilitate them, how to help them in order to grow. 
in our system. How to break that line is difficult. That should be the one which we should be seriously thinking about. And that is what we want to do. Community. I once again thank Mr. Dabbar. I thank you to come and read the book. Of course, I thank Dr. Tommy for receiving the first copy. I hope that he plays a very, very large role in the new government. Thank you. 
कौन चेक कर रहे हो बंद कर दो जा आपका ही आदमी कर रहा है हाँ हाँ ठीक ठीक